What's up folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to teach facts and skills to uh, custom agents using Autogen. Now, if you have no idea what Autogen is, Autogen essentially is a framework for building uh, multi-agent conversations to solve problems and resolve tasks, etc. right? So you're using like a dialogue between multiple agents to solve some task. And one cool, capability that they implemented in the framework is this teachability capability where you can add an agent to it and then you can give facts to that agent which uh, will allow it to later use for whatever purpose and i was thinking about it and i thought it was kind of cool because uh, i thought of one example that i want to share with you folks that i think could be really interesting if scaled to like a like a big application. So uh, essentially what we're gonna do first is just the basic, we're gonna be loading from my OAI config list, which is just a list of uh, dictionaries containing the model tags and the API keys. So I'm gonna be using the super good GPT-4 1106 preview model. Then we're gonna be setting up our teachable agent by um, creating an instance of the conversable agent class. We're gonna give the name teachable agent we're going to set the LLM configuration to the config list that we just loaded. We're going to set timeout at 120 and the cache seat to none to disable caching. Now we're going to set our code execution configuration. Uh, and here I'm saying that the work directory is worked here and the use Docker is false. And then this is where the magic starts to happen. Uh, let's just run this first. And then now we're going to... Um, so what we're doing here is we're creating an instance of the teachability capability. And this is the thing that's going to allow us to give facts and information to an agent. So we're doing that here. And then now we're creating an instance of the user proxy agent that will represent the user with the human input, right? We're going to set human input mode to never because in this case, we're just going to be saying um, uh, one liners like uh, facts and asking for those facts. Right, we're going to set the termination message uh, to terminate. We're going to set the max consecutive auto reply to zero because we don't want to have a bunch of loops of replies because it's going to be very straightforward. And we're going to set code execution configuration to um, work there and use Docker equal false because I'm running this locally on my machine. Then I'm going to ask, uh, what does Lucas do? And let's see the response. Probably. Autogen has no idea who I am, so let's take a look. <clears throat> All right, perfect. So Lucas, no idea. Uh, remind me of context, etc. No context of Lucas. So now I'm going to say Lucas uh, is a machine learning engineer. Uh, now we're going to teach a fact, which is that I'm a machine learning engineer. Perfect. And now that we've done that, we can uh, ask the model whether or not it remembers, right? What does Lucas do? Just answer with uh, his profession. And we're saying clear history to false, right? So that it can store those facts and that information um, for the future in the conversation. And sorry, let's go up here. Uh, and now we can say, just answer with this profession. So what does Lucas do? And we should get Lucas an ML engineer, beautiful. Now, we can use that to do all sorts of interesting things, I think. Well, one of them, for example, I think that this could serve kind of like custom instructions, but I bet that, you know, Autogen has some sort of custom instructions set up. Uh, but like, for example, in this example here, I'm just saying I like summaries and bullet points with concise sentences. So I say that, I state my preference, then let's wait for it to run. All right, beautiful. And now if I ask without mentioning anything about structure, but I say summarize this article, please. And I give the, some a piece of an article about transformers. Let's take a look at how that summary looks. So 
So we're getting the auto reply. And then let's take a look. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. So without me having to specify anything in this particular message, um, the agent remember the fact that my preferences for some reason bullet points. All right, this is pretty cool. Now, what I like and the idea I had was, I think this is an interesting, uh, could be an interesting way to get started with uh, building, uh, kind of like using LLMs and agents to build interfaces with uh, more complex systems. Now, to, what I mean to say is this, and I'm going to give an example. So in this silly example here, I started to create a set of like a vocabulary for like a fake language that I'm inventing. Uh, and I'm in this case, I only have four statements, right? And these are symbols like these three letters represent the plus sign. These three letters represent the minus sign, the operators for math, math, uh, mathematic, uh, mathematic operations for math operations. All right. UB means multiplication, EUK means the division, right? So I can tell the model that. And I can tell it all of these facts. All right, cool. And now I can ask it, perform this calculation in my made up language, two arc three UB four, which would be two plus three multiplied by four. Right. And when I execute that, what happens is there we go. So the agent translates correctly, given the made up language uh, and the facts of that made up language that we instructed before and then performs the correct execution of the calculation. Now, why do I think this is cool? Because if this is a capability that we can scale to, let's say, thousands of facts, imagine that, you know, you could use LLMs and agents as interfaces for, you know, complicated stuff, as long as you could structure the complicated stuff into some sort of set, structure set of, facts and pieces of information that you could use the LLM to learn all of those facts so that you could manipulate and operate on top of them. What I mean by that is, I think this is really cool. I think this is one way we can think about LLMs as interfaces to, you know, represent information, to represent other languages. You know, it's, I think this is a really cool capability. So, yeah. Check, definitely check out Autogen and check out my O'Reilly training course that I'm giving on Tuesday on the 30th, like next, this Tuesday. Hopefully I publish this video before my, my instruction, my O'Reilly live training. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.